Well, good morning, everybody. It is March 22nd, and here is the plan of attack, which is my plan. And now I'm looking to trade zero days expiration SPX options and the ES futures. So before kicking this off, I think everyone should be well aware that today is the FOMC statement. So if you are the type of trader that's been trading drama free, today is not the day for you. It is your day off and enjoy your break. You don't have to place a trade today. Um, but it's coming in at 1 p.m. Eastern, or sorry, 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Central, something to be well aware of. I will say one way I have found to adjust for these type of days, if I do decide to take a trade today, would be just trade straight um, calls or puts because the IV, the implied volatility, is going to start expanding and stay um, expanding. If you do any type of spread, the way a spread, it doesn't matter what kind, the way to get the max profit of your spread is you need the short leg to decay in value regardless. And I think it's going to stay inflated up until this announcement. And so therefore, just doing a long call or put is the, is the play today if you're looking to get directional. Now let's look at a few things. So big picture, you can see yesterday we finally did get above that 50-day SMA, right? Which is awesome. We finally got above it, um, which is right here. So we rallied up until the day. Overnight session, we came down, pierced this HVA level and tested it. And now we're bouncing up off of it. Um, so I like that as a bullish play. I want you to take note of this gray or orange out area right here, which is going to be resistance if we look to play a put to the upside. And another thing I want you to notice is where the 200-day SMA is because that's where we look to get short if that plays out as well. And if we go to our squeeze um, charts, so... The two-hour squeeze is still up near the second ATR consolidating. The hourly squeeze is technically still firing. And then we have a slingshot squeeze on the 30-minute. So at this point, this, here's, there's two scenarios that play out in just by looking at the squeezes. The squeeze on the 30-minute could actually come up and they start to fire short. If it does fire short, all that's going to do is cause a reversion to the mean on the two-hour so that's like not that big of a deal. But you want um, to play this trade only if we get below the 50-day SMA. That's why I'm pointing this part out. But at the moment, it does look like the bullish scenario wants to play out. But things change at the open. All right, so with those two, two key factors pointed out, how do I look to trade it? Well, it's really quite simple today, really. So the bullish scenario is... Actually, I'm going to show you this real quick, too. Because it's kind of important. All right, so we're right at where all the volume transacted in the overnight session. Here is my volume profile since last night, right? So oscillated here. We dipped below, tested it here, and now we're testing it again. If we can get above this level, which is, we'll call it uh, 30, 40, sorry, 40, 30, basically 40, 39, 40, 40, however you wish to slice it. If we can push above this level, so it's basically these highs, right? If we can push above these highs before the opening session, and then at that moment, the VWAP in the 30 minute 21 EMA will start to curl up as well. And then I would look for a pullback to these here and then start to see our dots and arrows, our rotations, and to play it for the upside. And like I mentioned, watch out for this orange out level right here, which is what I just showed on the daily time frame. Now, bearish scenario, say the market does start to revert because, you know, maybe people are start locking in profits before FMC, things of that nature, and we don't get above this point of control, right? Remember this level I just mentioned? So we still here, and then we start to come down. If we break below the 50-day SMA, then we rally up, and test the 30 minute 21 EMA. And at that point, I would look to get short just for the day. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really um, not too overly complicated, but we could actually do this to make it clear. See, this is at 40, 37, 38. So put D POC. That's my daily pointer control. And just to confirm it was what again? 40, 37, 38. Okay. A little bit here, boom. All right, so that's where the volume printer control is right now. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So for a recap, this is basically what I'm looking for: bullish situ, um, bullish scenario. These, the 30 minute squeeze, it does continue to go to the upside. Then I would like to see it push through here. And then at that moment, the 30 minute 21 EMA potentially be up here, and then we get the pullback. Buy that dip and take it back up. Cool. That's scenario one. Our bullish scenario, bearish scenario. Say the squeeze stalls and it starts to roll back, causing that two-hour reversion to the mean. Then I want to say stall the break below the 50-day SMA, rally up. And then maybe potentially at that moment we have the 30-minute 21 EMA right here, and then short that rally back down. But nonetheless, looking to be flat before the FOMC statement. And that's pretty much the plan. I may not even place a trade today because these days can be tricky. But that's it. I hope everyone has an awesome day. Be patient. And remember, you don't have to place a trade every day. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care, everybody.